Got all this ice on me, baby. Told my protective chief. Sipping all this coke in my bag. This bitch is on X. What is up guys, it's your boy Jesse. Thank you for tuning in again. So today, uh, I'm gonna be making a little video. Um, it's been long postponed and uh, I think it's about time that we actually start getting ahead and uh, getting to all these projects. So um, over the weekend, um, I actually ended up pulling the motor on Lexi. I'll go ahead and just show you guys so you guys can see. So here we are in front of Lexi. So like I said, I ended up doing the pull on Lexi. Um, if you guys know, uh, this car has been with us, man. It's been with us probably like a solid year and a half, probably two years. And uh, we've just had it. Um, the car actually came with a, uh, came to us with a blown motor. We ended up uh, trading this car for a different car. And uh, after we traded it, we got it with a non-running condition, but after we traded it, we tried getting it running, um, and then we ended up doing the compression test, and then that's where we saw that we had like zero PSI in some of the cylinders. Um, regardless, um, we have uh, we have four other, or no, we have three other IS 300s, and our whole intention was uh, since the very beginning was uh, to actually kind of do a Lego little play uh, I guess uh, our move was to actually start swapping motors and I'll go ahead and explain that right now so here we are in front of I ended up calling this car Mackenzie uh, but I call her Kenzie for short um, so here we are uh, the red eyes 300 so we recently not recently but we picked this up not super long ago and it's honestly just been chilling our whole intention was uh, we're, we're gonna be taking the motor out of this car because this car has 169,000 miles and um, it pretty much starts as soon as you crank it so we know the car is reliable I'm gonna go ahead and do a little demonstration I'll turn it on I'll let you guys hear it I ended up taking off the actual axle bag because um, I needed it for my car and I had misplaced mine I found it since then but I misplaced my muffler my axle bag so I needed it for smog. I just turned the car on yesterday to check if the car was leaking and everything was A-OK. -okay. Um, I had to put a new battery because I initially took it for mine. But I think this is the battery that came with this car. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the battery that came with it. But um, that's definitely not a battery for this car. Um, I think it's a little too small, but it still turns the car on no problem. So here is the motor on Mackenzie. Um, super filthy because it's been uh, it's just been sitting for a long time. But nonetheless, the car turns right on. I'll go ahead and turn it on right now. But the car has 169,000 miles. Um, it still is a clean title. It retains a little bit of damage. That's the reason we're, the reasoning we're taking the motor out. Um, it is a stick shift car. Um, but we will be fixing this car. Um, we wouldn't take apart a manual for no reason. And definitely wouldn't take apart a manual to save an automatic. But... We're gonna go ahead and do the swap so we can uh, sell that auto the automatic IS300, which is Lexi. So here we have 169,000 miles. I'll go ahead and press the clutch and like no problem. I'll go ahead and show you guys. The rear. So that's how she sounds. Here's the motor. Another reasoning we're actually taking the motor out of this car and putting it in that car is because this car currently needs a throw out bearing. Um, I'll go ahead and press the clutch in right now so you guys can hear that. But the car runs decent. Uh, I've had it up on the highway, like, no problem. Um, it does have camber back there where the cop hit it, but um, it still drove fine. Um, obviously, it's a little, like, squirrely on the road because it's, like, it has camber, so. But. Um, here is the car. Um, let me go ahead and just rev it up so you guys can hear the motor. I'm gonna rev it up first, but 
Not the clutch in and then put the clutch in. So as you guys can hear, the car runs no problem. I was a little worried. It's just, I mean, I wasn't revving it too hard, but I don't like really, I don't like revving my cars when they're cold. But as you guys can tell, uh, the car sounds really healthy. Um, it has 169,000 miles. These cars are known to go well over in the 200s. Uh, Gus has had 333,000 miles before it like gave out or whatever. But um we still have that motor and it still has compression so we're gonna do something with that car one day i mean that engine one day i, I kind of want to put it in a car just to see if that motor would like run or how long it would run for but maybe one day but for right now um let me give you a little rev so you guys can hear the sound from inside so this is rev with no clutch there's kind of like a little uh like a little sound from the the clutch i don't know if you guys can hear it it sounds like a little zoom like, like a little supercharger all right now now I'll rev with uh no clutch i mean with clutch with the clutch pressed in all right no clutch all right clutch so the engine is healthy um for right now i'm gonna go ahead and move it over there and i'm just gonna start prepping the the actual the car and i'm hopefully i'll have it out by today um doing that automatic one um it just taught me what to do uh the first time i touched that car to take it apart was a long time ago and uh at the time i was just doing like some dumb shit like i could do a lot of other things that would save me time and um it's really easy uh i'll go ahead and kind of give you guys a little tutorial but it's just i don't know if i'll make it a tutorial maybe on my next one um but i'll go i'll go ahead and tell you guys what i do or what i did what i will do so uh yeah it's pretty simple let me go ahead and move the car so you guys can get just oh i probably should close the hood this is reverse I want to turn it around because the wind is always from the west direction to the east. So I want to have. All right, guys, so I quickly got the car on jack stands. It's off the ground on all four wheels. Um, on this car, when I pulled the drive shaft off in the in the position I had the car, um, I couldn't actually, well, on this car, 
uh, I couldn't get the dry shaft off without having to kick the bolts or having to kick the wrench uh, to loosen up the bolts. Well, not kick it, but I just pressed it with my foot. And um, so I took this wheel off uh, to get the drive shaft off on this car. But on this car, uh, it comes with um, wheel locks. And unfortunately, it's not the same wheel lock as the one that's on my IS300 because I actually have wheel locks on my car too. So um, the original owner said he was going to actually send us over that wheel lock. It never happened, but I'm not even worried about it. Um, it's hot as fuck, so I'm having to wear a sombrero right now. USC sombrero. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just take the bumper off. Um, I just have it zip tied with two zip ties, but um, there would be some other shit if it was stock. But so I'm gonna quickly take the zip ties off, disconnect the battery, obviously. Um, just basically take all the header shit off. I'm gonna take the header off. Basically, like I'm take, doing headers, but I'm gonna take the, the headers off, the whole exhaust, because it doesn't have the axle back. So I'm gonna just drop the whole thing, and I'm gonna be letting this car sit for a little bit while we do uh, phase uh, two for this car. So I'm going to quickly do the header shit, uh, which requires me taking off the intake, uh, the throttle body. And yeah, that, that should be majority of the shit that I need to take off. And then I'll go ahead and start pulling the ECU. I'll probably do that more towards the end, but I'll go ahead and start draining um, the actual oil and the transmission fluid. Alright guys, so we got a little carried away. Uh, we've been just grinding on the car. The buddy actually came over with who bought the 300ZX. There he goes. Uh, and for right now, we actually got the whole like the little radiator for the AC. The actual radiator itself um the fans we basically have this out we disconnected it from the bottom already the headers uh just have one bolt holding the actual header up uh we disconnected the intake uh, basically anything that's uh basically stopping us from removing the engine um then we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil on the actual motor and on the transmission and then the drive will remove the drive shaft and um it's pretty much ready to go after that point we just take the ec the ecu out of the actual little cubby here and uh a ground here there's also a little multiple grounds i think one on this side and i think something on here so we completely forgot about the shifter uh because i took it off on the automatic car um i just took off the shift linkage you didn't have to touch anything in here but we forgot on the manual one, you have to take off the actual uh, shifter. And that's where we're at right now. We're taking this off. I mean, we took this off and the motor should be able to get pulled. Unfortunately, the camera is dying, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the, cam get the actual action of us taking out the motor on camera, but it is what it is. Uh, the shifter is out and the motor should come out now. All right, guys. So we just ended up finishing everything up. Uh, I got the car on the ground and the motor is out. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Um, so the camera ended up dying, uh, reason why I didn't really get any footage. Um, but uh, I'll go ahead and make a video where I end up putting the motor back in. It's gonna be going into that car uh, with the automatic transmission. And we're gonna be basically making a little bit of a, a Lego set with the cars. So this car needed an uh, engine, but the motor, I, I mean, yeah, this car needed an engine, but it, the transmission hopefully is good. Um, and then we're gonna end up selling that car because um, I think it's likelier to sell faster if it's an automatic car and I mean, we really have no use for that car. It was either that or just buying another motor, but we have this motor uh, laying around and since this car is actually pretty messed up in the rear quarter panel, um, I'd rather take my time with this and try to fix the rear quarter panel the, as best as I can. So for right now, uh, like, I, like I said, the engine is out and I will be mating it. Um, hopefully I can uh, make the video for that. Cause I know this video is gonna be really short if I don't include anything else. So hopefully I'll just do the, uh, the mating of the engine that came out of this car with the transmission that came out of this car. Um, I kind of want to do some things to the engine. I don't want to just put it back in there cause that's kind of fucked up. Um, I kind of want to do the rear main seal at least cause that's kind of a, a real complicated seal to get to. But um, let me go ahead and show you the motor. Here's the motor. Um, it's, pre it's pretty much all there. Um, it's a lot less gunky than that motor over there. That one has 250. That's what the, that mileage reads. And then this one has 169. So there is some significant amount of difference in oil. Oh, I mean the oil on the side, on the sides. Um, but like I said, this is a transmission we're gonna be using and I will be taking off the, this W55 and storing it for a little bit. And then when, uh, 
we proceed with step two. Um, this, w, this W55 will be uh, getting placed in use again, and it's going to be going back in that car. But <clears throat> but for right now, here's the drive shafts. Um, I put all the parts away: the radiator, the little radiator for the actual AC, and I've just been putting all the parts away. For right now, uh, the car is sitting really high because the motor is not in there. But uh, we still got to do a whole little series with this car. We're gonna be swapping the interior out because nobody wants that uh, like caramel interior. So yeah, this is how the car sits. Good solid six inches from the wheel well to the actual wheel. Um, but yeah. Uh, just gotta go ahead and clean stuff up as I do in that car. But for right now, uh, just gonna go ahead and chill, take a shower, and go grub. What is up, guys? I'm pretty sure this is day two um, from the actual video where I uh, was pulling the motor out of the red car. Um, I said I was gonna go ahead and uh, basically take these uh, two, I mean, drivetrains and uh, take them apart. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull this this uh, drivetrain out of the red car. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it out there somewhere where it's out of the way and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the cherry picker. Well, I mean, I gotta get the cherry picker to move this shit. This shit's heavy. And then I'm gonna get the cherry picker and then I'll go ahead and pick this one up. And I have to take the torque converter bolts off because uh, it's not the same as like a manual transmission. You gotta take the bolts that go to the torque converter out first and I don't really know how to do that, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty co it's pretty straightforward. There's a service there's a service cover in the bottom of it, and I think you just pop that little cover off, and you just take I think it's like six bolts or eight bolts, and then you're it allows you to pull the transmission off. And then once you do that, um, once I do that, I'm probably gonna go ahead and clean that up because you guys can see. Um, well, I mean this this whole thing it just it looks like shit. Um, I don't know if that valve cover was bad or they were pouring oil on top of the motor. I don't know, but it's just really dirty. The transmission too, like I don't know why. It looks like it was leaking in this region and then it could have just been as the car was moving, it would go in this region. But the transmission is freaking filthy and I hate that. So um, I don't know how clean I'm gonna get it. I don't really expect it to be like spotless because it's literally just gonna go straight back into that car and it's likely gonna get sold. Um, Unfortunately, Lexi's uh, lifespan with us has come to an end. Well, not yet. The car's still in my possession. So, until we actually sell the car, it's, I guess, still with us. But for right now, um, the objective is to swap these things over and basically get the thing sold. We don't need it. Rather do some fun shit with that for a little bit and then sell that later. Because um, um, we're going to be doing something pretty cool to both Gus's IS300, which is Buster. And then my S300, which is Caroline. So, big moves, big moves. So, go ahead and start working on that. Alright guys, so I got the six torque converter bolts out. Um, I just used the impact and I put a 14 mil. And they came straight out. Um, there's a little cover that goes over this hole. Just so debris and shit doesn't get in there. But now it allows me to take off the transmission. But first, uh, I gotta disconnect. Uh, it's a little dark, but I gotta disconnect the, uh, these automatic transmission fluid, whatever transmission cooler, whatever fuck you want to call it. Um, and I gotta, I gotta take those off because I don't want to risk uh, messing those up whenever I pull the transmission. So I'm gonna go ahead and just disconnect it here. I think they're tens and twelves, or maybe all twelves, but no, they're definitely tens and twelves. Ten. 12 or I could do the 10 here another 10 here and then I can either uh, back these off or I can leave them on it but I'm probably gonna just take them off because I don't want to risk uh, messing those up I still have the shift linkage on it I took it off completely um, should I should have just taken like this shit off and this little back nut off but <clears throat> it's alright alright guys so I quickly ran out of uh, my battery died so I quickly took these lines off. Um, I kind of ran into an issue here where this fitting, uh, where it goes into the transmission, uh, this came out, but this union fitting should have came out, but it didn't come out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting, taking off the, the bolts that hold the actual transmission onto the, the motor itself.
Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you, that smells like pure gasoline. Sixty percent of the time. Yeah. All right, guys, so I just finished separating the W55 from the 2JZ. Uh, I have the other transmission sitting over there. I don't even know what it's called, like 4 or something, 4A something. I don't fucking know. I totally forgot to give you guys like a little view of what the W55 looks like. Um, it's a little dark in there. Uh, you guys probably can't see, but uh, on the outside, it's not too bad. Uh, there's the clutch. I would move the transmission, but I'm not trying to get filthy. Um, I did notice that this mount right here, if you guys can see, I can move it by foot. And yeah, that's not good. So uh, whenever we put this W55 back in, uh, it's going to definitely need another transmission mount. I'm going to have to take the clutch and flywheel off and go ahead and swap over the like the automatic tran the automatic flywheel looking thing and put it on this 2jz and then i have to take the harness off of that 2j i have to take the harness and that automatic flywheel thing from the back and then i'm gonna go ahead and take the clutch and flywheel off of this and then i'll go ahead and put those parts over here and then the transmission is a, it's it can go on at that point all right guys so this is the end of today's video um for right now i'm gonna go ahead and just start cleaning up but i will be making another video it will either be me mating the actual uh good 2jz with the auto transmission or it's gonna be me doing uh, a little bit of maintenance on this 2jz so that it's uh reliable for the next owner because i mean that's that's kind of the priority because i don't want to sell a car to some guy or some kid some girl and then it ends up breaking down on them because uh that's been me with my bmw and i mean it's it's kind of a pain in the ass but i kind of i kind of like that it's making it's it's pushing my button so that it makes me uh be able to die in those cars and shit and yeah so far so good um for right now like i mentioned i'm gonna go ahead and just start cleaning up it's super hot out here uh so i'm gonna go ahead and uh clean up and chill um I'm wearing this sombrero because if not, the sun will be killing me. And yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. And that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in.